Greetings land lovers and welcome to this video all about sleeving your copy of Arkham Horror Unfathomable. You only need 86 standard American board game, 205 mini American board game and 19 specialist size sleeves. You can stop watching the video now and purchase with confidence if you like. We won't be offended. Are you still here? Well, get ready for some nerdy info. A sleeve is a mini plastic cover that fits over your gaming card to protect it. Your hands contain natural oils which are easily absorbed by cardboard and will cause dirt to stick. And as food and gaming are often found together, having a sleeve will keep grease and stains well away, as well as help prevent damage from accidental beverage spills. Sleeves were originally designed to protect cards that accumulated in value, such as trading cards or those from collectible card games, where condition dictated value. But board gamers have adopted them to prolong the life of game components and keep them in better condition should they want to sell or trade a game one day. So let's have a look at some sleeves. If you are having a mini heart attack right now with this bewildering range of choice, then this is definitely the video for you. Games use a whole range of different sizes of sleeve. Unfathomable has some common ones called standard American board game size and mini American board game size, plus a third more obscure size. It is always best to look for these names rather than actual measurements because they can vary. The most common type of sleeve is called simply standard size or standard card game size and is intended for customizable card games. The height is fine but they are too wide, adding excess bulk and causing the card to move around in the sleeve, potentially causing damage. You could use them in a pinch while your better sized sleeves are in order or if you aren't sure if you want to keep the game and need to preserve it in perfect condition for trading or selling. Because this size sleeve is produced in higher volumes they are cheaper. You won't find 100 board game sleeves for 99 cents but you will find 100 card game sleeves. The owners of the Arkham Horror IP, Asmodee, have a dedicated accessory company called Gamegenic who produce their own range of card protectors. On the back of the box they kindly let you know how many of each pack of sleeves you need to buy for it. If you are a stickler for using official accessories or you want the simplest solution then just order the amount and type it says on the box. But unfortunately this doesn't take care of your oversized cards. Plus, these were out of stock when we made the video. Luckily, with board games, it really doesn't matter who makes your sleeve. So if you have a brand that you like to use or your supplier has a limited selection, then as long as you get the correct size and quantities, you will be fine. Way back in the day, Fantasy Flight Games, the studio that created the Arkham Horror Files universe, had their own range of sleeves. So you may see some that match the logo on the back of this box. Usually they will be floating around eBay or Amazon Marketplace and the reason they are so expensive is they have long been discontinued. You may have some hanging around because you have purchased other Arkham Files games. It is up to you if you want to mix and match but be aware that Gamegenic and the old FFG sleeves are not a perfect match. So don't combine the two within the same card type just to be sure. One legacy that has remained from Fantasy Flight Games is their attempt to introduce a visual standard for the packaging to help consumers. This has carried over to Gamegenic using the same colours. Some other manufacturers like Arcane Tin Men and Legion also follow suit but not everyone. So again look for the name or dimensions and not just the colour. 86 of your cards, notably your Loyalty and Mythos cards of this size here and checking the sleeve guide are classed as standard American board game size. You will find plenty of choice from name brand manufacturers and there is no reason why you can't just pick the cheapest or most convenient. Pay attention to the quantities though as board game sleeves are packed in 50, 60 or 100 or other weird numbers. No matter which you choose, you will have some left over for spares or to put towards future expansions. 
Ultimate Guard supply two versions. Their regular style is called Premium, and they have a Supreme version which is much thicker. Both these packs contain 60 cards, but you can easily see the difference in thickness. If you were expecting an insane amount of wear, such as in a board game library or cafe, then maybe go for the thicker ones, but be aware these add a huge amount of bulk, taking up much more storage space. Arcane Tin Men produce two types of sleeve. Your first is a pack of 100 traditional design sleeves, thus cutting the packaging in half. The next is a box of 50 anti-glare. These have a frosted look to them, designed to cut down on the reflection of traditional sleeves. This can be a valuable perk for competitive card games, but seems like overkill for board games. If you do have an unforgiving strip light above your gaming table, then maybe give them a try. The cool thing is the box, allowing you to group and store your cards for faster setup. Each is sized to hold 50 sleeved cards, and you can write the contents on the side of the box. And on the back is a handy sizing square, so if you are sending Auntie Gladys out for sleeves, just give her a card and she can compare. Like a ludological Cinderella. The Ultra Pro sleeves also have a particular quirk, in that each sleeve has an authenticity hologram on it. If you position this on the face of the card, it may cover up your game text. If you put it on the rear, it means you can't mix these with other sleeves without your cards becoming marked. The Mayday sleeves come in a Ziploc bag, which both reduces the amount of packaging you need to throw away and equates to free Ziploc bags to help group and sort your cards, although it is unlikely you'd be able to fit 50 sleeve cards back in the bag comfortably. A new kid on the block is Paladin, which confusingly names its sleeves after Arthurian Knights, but it does stick to the FFG colour code referencing Gawain and the Green Knight. Just to be different, these come in packs of 55. Another recent addition are Sleeve Kings, a sister company to Mayday, who usually sell through Kickstarter, but you should be able to purchase through their web store or some online retailers. They pride themselves on more sleeves per pack and the strength of their joins, although we don't always find this to be the case. And we tried to get hold of some Game Genic sleeves, we really did, but had no luck finding the right size at the moment. Looking at the quoted dimensions, you will see there is a variation from the 57x89mm standard, with Legion supplies being the most generous. Definitely don't go smaller than this, as you want to give your cards room to expand and flex slightly with changes in humidity. Width-wise, we say go as close to 57mm as you can, as this stops the card moving about in the sleeve, and reduces the storage space needed. The height is a matter of personal preference. One of the ends of your sleeve will of course be open, allowing dirt in and the card to be exposed to damage. An overlap helps to minimise this, and different manufacturers have diverse ideas on how much overlap to use. It is up to you how close to the opening you are comfortable with your card being. For your tiny size cards, you will want to be seeking out mini American board game size. Again, some manufacturers follow the yellow colour and some don't. Things are mostly the same with Ultimate Guard having two thicknesses, and Arcane Tin Men having packs of 100, or 50 anti-glare in a box. Mayday still give you a free Ziploc bag, but their quantity has changed to 100, so you definitely won't be fitting 100 sleeve cards back in the bag. This size is one of the few that Ultra Pro doesn't put a hologram on, luckily. Almost every manufacturer sticks rigidly to the 41 by 63 specification, even BCW. The exceptions are Ultimate Guard and Legion Supplies who like a relaxed fit sleeve, but Ultimate Guard have released an X-Wing edition version of this size whose measurements are slightly smaller for a closer fit, but are still larger than the 41 by 63. These are also available in two thicknesses, the Premium and the Bulkier Supreme. Your character and reference sheets are a non-standard size, meaning there is a distinct lack of regular solutions to protecting these. They might be something you want to get laminated, depending on how often you think you'll use them. Back in the day we had to cut up some 4x5 postcard sleeves like these, trimming off the excess. Then came the still relatively obscure Taiwanese company Swan Pan Asia, who specialise in weird sizes. You want their 103mm by 128mm size. Sadly, this means that shipping is super bonkers expensive, particularly for anyone needing just a dozen or so sleeves. They come in packs of 50 for thicker, or 100 for thinner. 
Make sure you check out their distributor list to try and find a source closer to you or see if eBay or Amazon can do you better shipping. In Europe, check out Smiling Monster and in the UK, Board Game Extras. Things have certainly improved since we started making these videos and we are pleased to say that both Sleeve Kings and Paladin offer suitable sizes and they should be much more widely available. Most sleeves will have an outer cosmetic packaging and some may have an inner clear packaging for the sleeves. All of these are resealable so you can keep your excess in perfect condition or even use it as a temporary sorting solution. Check your local recycling as non-polyethylene films are rarely recycled. Packaging design does change and at different rates around the world. So the products we have featured may have different looking branding in your territory. Ultimate Guard frequently change their packaging, so in future be on the lookout for their new grey pack designs. Hand on heart, we tested every single one of these and would be happy to use any of them, even the loose splitting legion supplies. We also tested out these and decided they weren't for us. The Mayday Games Purple have an extremely tight fit. They are very hard to get on and off and barely cover the top edge. You may like this ultra snug fit, but if you live in a humid environment your cards may swell and warp. The BCW Blue is wide enough but doesn't cover the top edge, so we wouldn't recommend this. A small pro tip is to leave any excess sleeves in your game box to easily replace a sudden split sleeve. And if you keep the empty packaging from your sleeves in the box, you will instantly know what brand to order when any expansions arrive. We hope you have enjoyed or found this video informative. All the sleeves were purchased with our own money and we didn't receive any kind of reward for including them. Do let us know in the comments below what kind of other unfathomable videos you'd like.